the accusation of to Israel to be an apartheid country is not an accusation, it's a death sentence, exactly as it was for the old South Africa. And it is there since a very long time. It's a strategy that is now culminating just in this very accusation. An apartheid country, it was ridiculous if it was not tragic uh, to say something like that. Just look around in the streets of Israel, in the offices of Israel, in the hospitals of Israel, in the malls, uh, in the public parks, in the cinemas, wherever you, wherever you look, you will see that all the citizens of Israel live together under the same laws with the same rights and that there is no discrimination at all, no racial, no religious discrimination, even in the high court and in the Knesset and in the go government until today. There have been always Arabs uh, together with the Jews, with the Druze, with the Christians. Apartheid country is ridiculous when you talk about Israel. Now, it was there since 1975 when there was the first resolution of the United Nations about Israel declaring Zionist a racist ideology. Even this could not be more ridiculous. But this took place and after that all along the years until it became explosive in 2021. I was there in Durban as a journalist and I have seen how it developed and became a sort of illness of all the world while all of this uh, dictators like Arafat, Mugabe, Fidel Castro, they were all speaking there at the United Nations sessions about human rights and fighting uh, racism from uh, positions where they were absolutely and really guilty of all of these accusations that they were just uh, giving against, the, where they were just pronouncing against the state of Israel. They were applauded by the NGOs and by the public of the United Nations, and this happens until today. The United Nations has dedicated more resolution to uh, blaming Israel than to any other country, and uh, nowadays there is an, a new commission uh, COI is called COI, directed by this lady, Navy Pillay, that has always been one of the worst enemies of Israel, that promises to bring on and on the accusation of apartheid country until the Human Rights uh, uh, the, the right, uh, Council. And uh, uh, this is exactly what we can expect, a new condemnation. Again, the word of the institutions, uh, United Nations, European Union, and all of their satellites to be against Israel, declaring it a, a state which is not worth to live, because whoever is uh, a, 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 an apartheid country, whatever is an apartheid country, is something that must be deleted, that must die. So this is what they are saying, that Israel doesn't have the dignity of a state, that Israel is an, ent is an evil entity that must be destroyed. We will fight against it, and we will fight against the institution that proclaimed this false, uh, uh, this, this false statement. So we will, our fight is very large. It's against the United Nations, it's against the European Union, it's against all of the institutions that, that have been doing that. And uh, we will do that uh, because Israel is a fantastic, thriving, uh, democratic, uh, mixed country with everybody, all the religions and all the ethnic origins live together.